So guys, the next big fight uh, will be um, Adrian Broner and Manny Pacquiao after the new year. Uh, we've had all these, um, this year's um, boxing. It's been a great year. It's been a great year with some big, big fights, uh, some big, big money fights, some big heavyweight clashes. Uh, it's been a fantastic year of boxing. And to be honest, I can't look for, I can't wait for next year now. It's, next year is going to be even better, in my opinion. Uh, the heavyweight division is in a great place. Uh, we've got, you know, the heavy heavyweight division is now banging. Um, I think, you know, with all the with all the fighters in that division now, I think it is probably the best it's been in so long. Uh, you've got Joshua Wilder, um, Miller, Parker's uh, on his comeback trail. Dillian White. What's Jerry Chisora's next move gonna be? Um, you know, who's AJ gonna fight next? Uh, Usyk entering the heavyweight division. Um, Pulev, uh, Povetkin, Ortiz. The heavyweight division is stacked with great, great fighters now. This is this is this is going to be really interesting to see what happens moving forward in the heavyweight division. Listen, I've I've said this before. The heavyweight division is the honey division of of, of boxing. If the heavyweight division is on fire, then boxing is on fire. And I think it's fair to say that the heavyweight division is on fire right now. Um, Usyk moving up, that's obviously going to weaken the cruiserweight division. Um, but still, I think there's some good cruiserweight fighters out there as well that might may move up to heavyweight, which may make the heavyweight division even stronger. Um, the light heavyweight scene is 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 very good. Uh, the super middleweights is a bit is a bit weak. Uh, you've got the welterweight division, which is always strong. Uh, and then you know you've got Lomachenko, you've got you know Josh Warrington at featherweight. You know Josh Warrington's doing well for. In, you know, at featherweight now, I think he probably might be the number one featherweight in the world. Don't don't get me wrong, Gary Russell, Oscar Valdez, and the other the other Leo Santa Cruz will probably have something to say about that. But he's gonna be a, he's gonna be a very very hard man to beat after you know what I saw um, last night. Uh, it was brilliant by Josh Warrington. He, he I didn't think Josh Warrington was that good to be honest with you, but he's definitely surprised me and not just me but a lot of people, a lot of people. This man. This man is a serious, serious fighter. And he, like I said, in the second round yesterday, he was on the verge of stopping Frampton. And this is a man with not huge power. He's only got six knockouts on his record. Uh, but he punches a lot harder than his record suggests, according to Frampton. Uh, he's a very, very good fighter. Uh, he's, I think he's underrated. People look at him and he doesn't look special, but he's actually very, very good. Um, but yeah, boxing right now is, you know, we've got hot prospects coming through. Joshua Buatzi, Daniel Dubois. Um, Nathan Gorman, uh, George Joyce is making his way up. Uh, there's there's many. Charlie Edwards has just won a world title. Massive congratulations to him. What a performance he put on. Um, there's there's many prospects coming through. There's many many prospects coming through. Great fighters. Uh, Josh Kelly. Um, that's another one. There's there's so many, but I just can't all rile them off at the minute. But there, there's so many and there's so many great fighters out there. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens moving forward, guys. You know what? I'm, I'm really looking forward to 2019. I can't wait. The first big fight of 2019, we all know, is Adrian Brono v. Manny Pacquiao. Uh, that's going to be... It's going to be what it is. Um, I think... You know, although it's a massive fight and a fight that I'm going to be watching, um, a fight that I'm going to be, I'm going to watch, of course, as a, you know, as a guy that, you know, reports on boxing and I've got my boxing channel, I watch all the fights, but that fight's massive, it's a massive fight, whether it's a competitive fight, that's for you guys to, uh, I'll leave you to uh, that to you guys, I think Pacquiao wins that, um, and then obviously it's going to be very interesting if Pacquiao does beat Broner, what he's going to do next. Uh, what, who's he going to fight? Is Mayweather going to come out? Is he going to fight Errol Spence? Is he going to fight Terence Crawford? Is Amir Khan going to get a chance if he can go beat Kel Brook? There's, there's, Pacquiao's got a lot of options moving forward. It's going to be very interesting to see what Pacquiao does moving forward. Um, I, think it's, I think it's last chance saloon for Adrian Broner at that level, at that pay-per-view level. I don't think he'll get back to the pay-per-view level if he loses. Um, I think this is an opportunity for Adrian Broner to prove that he is a top fighter. Whether he can do it, only time will tell. Um, but leave your thoughts, guys. Leave your thoughts, guys, on what you thought this year's um, 
boxing been like? How do you think? How do you rate the year? I think it's been fantastic. We've had some great heavyweight fights. We've had some great fights at the lower weight categories, and it's just been a great, great year of, of boxing. And I'm pretty sure next year, just look at the potential matchups we could get in, next year: Joshua Wilder, Joshua Fury, Khan Brook, um, maybe Josh Kelly against a big, a big name next year. That would be that's something that I'm looking for. Anf Anthony Yard stepping up. Maybe Daniel Dubois and Nathan Gorman fighting each other. Uh, there's many, there's many mouthwatering. Errol Spence v. Terence Crawford, Keith Thurman v. Terence Crawford, Mikey Garcia v. Errol Spence, which has been made. There's, there's many great matchups to look forward to next year, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a cracking year. Next year is going to, could be, I think, in my opinion, is going to be better than this year. But leave your thoughts, guys, of how you rate the year. Uh, and guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.